My name is Charlie Shammy. Our office where I work is in Dearborn, Michigan, the backyard of Henry Ford. I've been in the mortgage industry now for, this is year 11. And throughout that time, it's always been fast paced, high producing. I've been able to, I've had the opportunity to help over 14,000 clients, 14,000 families in my career. And when you do that, you learn a thing or two, you have to. I tend to geek out with guidelines and how to get somebody approved where everybody else is telling them no. And I wanted to create this series to get as much of the content I have in here, out there, and just like spread the knowledge as much as I can. So whether you're a loan officer just trying to get better, which I respect, whether you're somebody looking to buy a home, whether you're a real estate agent trying to understand the mortgage side, my goal is to bring you as much value as I can. I got into the industry just over 11 years ago. Before doing this, I was a serial entrepreneur. So at the same time, I was running three all successful businesses. One of them, the main one was I was selling laptops and computers. Uh, targeting sounds like a bad word, but I was my goal was to help lower income families to get a computer that their kids needed for school. So I'd get laptops that I can that are good and I'll refurbish them myself and make sure they're good and be able to sell them for either 99, 159, or 199. That was kind of the price range. And this is back before laptops were everywhere. So and I travel the country selling them at these different trade shows. I was also selling cologne and perfume online. So I would that was very easy, easy thing to just upkeep. And then I had a limousine business which was more for fun. Nice that I was able to drive the limousines, make money, which you know I had a family to provide for. So all three of those I was running at the same time. And mom, the reason I was working so much was trying to help my mom. My, uh, my parents got divorced. My, my dad had an adjustable rate mortgage. He took out a second loan to finish the basement or the payment jumped to $2,700 a month. And this is in the 2000s. So uh, $2,700 a month doesn't carry as much weight now as it did then. There was a big payment, still is a big payment. And there was like no hope. There was no way we could do it. My dad left. He got, you know, he, they, whatever. You know, there are a couple and they, they broke up. And he was expecting that we we're gonna lose the house. Uh, my brothers and I banded together and we worked and we worked and we worked and my mom worked and we, you know, we stuck together as a family. So I'm very proud of that. But at one point, my mom was doing uh, what's called a refinance. And at this time, I had no idea what refinances or mortgages were. Um, she was doing a refinance and she was like telling me about it as she was going through the process. One day, it was a summer day, uh, we had a closer come to our house and they were signing the documents. And the payment went from $2,700 a month two loans, adjustable rate, they refinanced it all into one, and the payment went down to 1100 a month. We saved $1,600. For our family, that was life-changing. For me, I was in my 20s. Now I can like start to think of building my own family, building my businesses more, and I didn't have to like work, work, work just to pay that, that bill. And while, when they were closing at the end of it, and the, the lady told my mom, congratulations, you're closed. Her and I just started crying. We just started bawling, crying like a little baby. But that had such a profound impact on me. Just seeing what a refinance can do and what a mortgage does for people, how it can help people. And immediately I was hooked. I said, I want to know everything there is about mortgages. I want to know, you know, help as many people as I can. I would always subscribe to, don't worry about just chasing the dollar or making money. You just help as many people as you can and everything else will work itself out. Even when I was broke, I, was, I always thought that way. I wanted to start at, you know, somewhere where I could learn a lot. And I started at a company who became, I don't know if they still are, but at one point were the largest lender in the country. My first month out of 120 people, I was number one in my class, set records for production. I was promoted to a leadership position within six months. Within under a year, I had my own team and I was doing, I was in refinance and then was moved to purchase to start building and developing different specialties in their purchase uh, division. Always folk, I started to focus on purchase rather than refinance because I felt like that's where you can help people the most. People getting their first home, people getting, you know, that term you always hear, generational wealth, uh, being able to pass something on to their kids. Stop just dumping your money into rent uh, and actually own a piece of property. I'm a firm believer that when people have something to lose, you'll see way better behavior. You know, you have a home now, you have somewhere where you can build your family, and that was that meant a lot. So I got into it for what I believe are the right reasons and because of that i was able to really really dedicate myself to it uh, whether it was 85 90 95 hours a week whatever hours i had to work it didn't really matter i didn't care 
I just want it to be better. I wanted to make sure everybody I talk to, um, that they're not gonna find something better by talking to somebody else. I never wanted to be wrong, but I'd never answer a question I didn't know the, the answer to. I wasn't certain on it, I know how to find the answer. And over the years, you know, I've, we've been able to help over 14,000 people, and I'm very proud of that. And over the years, you learn, you learn, you learn. Although guidelines are ever-changing, ever-evolving, and there's so many of them, I geek out with them, I obsess over them, and just keep getting, try to get better and better and better to make sure everybody I talk to, I know how to approve them the correct way, give them the best experience, and give them, of course, the best pricing. Incorporated Sonic Loans in January of 2020. Prior to that, I was a senior director. What I was talking about earlier, I built out different specialties in there at that company and they were thriving and they were doing good. And the specialty I was in doubled the company's conversion. And the winner is Consistently, I led the top friend, converting, Mr. top producing team. Charlie yeah, it's a great company. They've always thrived and they're doing good now. But I thought, why not just build something from the ground up, something from scratch, built for purchase, built for people buying Buying homes. Yes, we're really good at refinances, really fast at them, really aggressive pricing, very hard to beat our pricing. But purchase, you can't mess up on it. So you have a family buying a house, you have a family selling a house, that family selling a house is buying another house, you have another family selling a house, and then you have their agents and all the professionals involved in their families that depend on you not messing up and being able to deliver on what you promise and get it done fast and efficiently and you know headache free. So I thought, you know what, why don't I just build it myself, build it from the ground up. And so in January of 2020, I negotiated the name of this company, buying it, bought it and incorporated. And we all know what happened after that. We took our office space, you know, the licensing takes a little bit to get approved. We got our office space, moved into our office where we are now in March of 2020. We had about a week into uh, taking over the office and you all remember what happened there. Lockdowns and all this stuff, and everything was going nuts and uh, so it was very interesting, <laughs> very exciting. Uh, the market with interest rates was just crazy. Every like half an hour, it felt like there was a reprice and you're trying to tell somebody something and a reprice changes it. And you know, you don't want, they're gonna think you're lying to them. So you just have to, you know, make sure people know you're honest and you just deliver the news right away. But it was crazy. I had people, although I wasn't trying to hire uh, people right away, I had people coming and they wanted to join. They knew my reputation. They wanted to join us. So I was hiring people. We had an office. I was working from home. I didn't want to see or touch anybody. I was like, oh, like, well, we don't know what's going on. And I have a family. I have in-laws, my mom, my dad, all like heart patients. I didn't want to get near anybody. So I was hiring people with never, without ever meeting them. And they were working at home. And <laughs> that was, that was a very interesting chapter and so i got started january 2020 here we are now top uh, broker in the country two years straight doing i think really well and we have a long way to go and it's always about growth and getting better and getting better um clearly helping people it's interesting you know i it, when you understand what you're doing and it feels weird saying this like i'm not cocky by nature i'm not i'm very like try to be at least very humble when you say like you're really good at what you do it's not me saying it it's other people saying it. i've had grown men in my office crying uh tears of joy uh, where other people told them they have to wait two years before they qualify and to me it was just like no you don't you, you qualified and we closed their, their loan in two weeks and they have a new home for them and their family. Being able to help somebody like that and especially when they appreciate the help, there's, it's more rewarding than anything. I love what I do, but I, the, there's nothing that can be helping a family, especially a family that was said no to before because they really understand the value. Hopefully it could just prevent a no from ever happening and they just talk to me first, but a lot of times it'll end up with us to fix it, like a broken file or somebody's getting denied by somebody else, it'll end up with us and we're able to get it through and get it closed. A 10 year goal with Sonic Loans is to have a national footprint in a way that brings value to people. I wanna grow organically and I wanna grow the right way and I wanna grow with the right people. One bad apple, which as they say, can ruin the whole bunch. I'm very selective of who we add into any roles here. But the goal is to have a national footprint of loan officers who are passionate, are dedicated, understand guidelines, understand how to get things closed, understand the different caveats within the guidelines, understand how to structure things, the correct way and I want to have that national footprint not just you know numbers and money and whatever it's more about helping people how many people can we help how many sonic loans can we put in every community across the country that can actually get it done and get it closed effortlessly seamlessly changing lives for people so the 10-year goal is to have a national footprint in it yeah, where we're bringing good positive change to every community across the country